you can imagine, in the event of a hurricane, you're forced to evacuate your home. You take with you the bare essentials that you need, and in the rush to evacuate, you may forget something like your chronic medications, or you're injured and you need access to medicine. What are your options? We have a program at Direct Relief USA that works to equip U.S. clinics along the Gulf Coast with medicines and supplies that they need to prepare themselves in the event of a hurricane. We assemble these supplies in waterproof, ruggedized packs and distribute them for free to specifically chosen partner facilities who can use them immediately once a hurricane hits. Having Direct Relief International give us supplies up front has been extremely, extremely helpful. The fact that there are um, packs pre-placed in locations means that we can respond right away. We go into a storm period knowing that there's a stash <laughs> that has medications that are going to be needed. First dose medicines, a lot of antibiotics. The ability to be able to provide for people things that are going to not only just improve their quality of life, but keep them healthy is essential. Working with Direct Relief's pharmacist and a series of clinical providers, we've identified a list of the most critical items needed for a 72-hour period. That list is what comprises the hurricane preparedness packs. The goal there is to really have the packs actually pre-positioned at the facilities. We know from our history in responding to hurricanes, it can interrupt supply chains as roads get closed or flooding occurs. If Direct Relief can provide enough medicine and medical supplies to enable those clinics to provide care for a 72-hour period, we can work with our corporate donors and identify the other types of products and the quantities that are needed to support them in the days and weeks to come after a hurricane is struck. If a hurricane doesn't end up affecting one of the providers, which we hope to be the case, we enable them to roll the products from uh, the preparedness packs into their normal existing inventories to be used for their low-income uninsured patient populations who couldn't afford to pay for the drugs that they need to stay healthy. To learn more about Direct Relief's program, please go to directrelief.org. We have a lot of information on um, our hurricane preparedness program and other programs there. I'm Damon Tower with Direct Relief USA.